There's no time for fancy intros here. We're getting right to the action on the series premiere of Trials of Ascension. I'm Spooky Lou Carpenbarker. We're going to Dunbar, West Virginia for Mega Pro Wrestling Summer Sizzler Night One. When this match was announced, I couldn't have been happier because I knew this was the perfect way to open up this episode to kind of show you what Spooky Lou's vision is for uh, West Virginia wrestling and how to showcase West Virginia wrestling. And I'll explain. You see Anthony Rucker in there. He recently uh, just won the RSW Tag Team Championships, not even a year into his career. Taking on Violent Vance Desmond. I'll start with Vance. Vance I first saw back in 2004 in a match in a uh, sports bar against uh, Zach Vincent. And that match gave me hope. I can't undersell how important that match was to my fandom as far as local wrestling went. I'd never seen wrestling action like that in West Virginia. And ever since then, I have watched Vance match after match, years after years of this man competing at such a high level. And uh, I'm so glad I get to showcase him here. He's taking on my best friend in the business, Anthony Rucker. I'm on the road with this guy every weekend. We're the first guys there, the last ones to leave. No one is hungrier, nobody wants it more than Anthony Rucker. And uh, you're going to see him rise up through the rest of the business right here on Trials of Ascension. I'll let you enjoy the action. We've got three more bangers on the way. Believe me, the perfect storm has arrived. The perfect storm I've been talking about on this channel. It's hit land. The trials start now. Enjoy. Come on. 
everybody. Okay, um, I'm currently, I'm in the woods. I don't know why I am in the woods. My okay senses just went off. I said, screw it. We're in the woods now. But I'm pretty sure it is for one reason. <sighs> Evan Silver. Evan Silver, I know. It's going to be tough, man. It's going to be tough going against somebody that is the okayest in the world because you're going to beat me down. You're going to do some flips and stuff like that. But I promise you, I will be okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We're going for gold. Is that why? Is it because that we're fighting for gold? Oh, my God. Your name's Evan Golden. Sorry, I got you mixed up. I was watching Cobra Kai. I'm sorry about that, but at the skating rink, sorry, that's besides the point. At the skating rink, you know, I'm repping West Virginia so I can take the East Tennessee Heavyweight Championship. And you wanna know why? There's one thing that I have never done, and that is hold some gold, man. Hold some okay gold. I wanna be able to have a belt wrapped around my waist if it can fit, actually. Might need to get it a fit check because I am pretty skinny. Evan Golden, sorry. I, I, I keep getting mixed up with Terry Silver, Evan Gold. That's besides the point. When you meet me, I'll have my glasses off. So that's an advantage for you. Um, I'll have the shirt off. Sorry, West Virginia. But, I mean, I love y'all. Born and raised. But I need to, you know, I don't want to get it all sweaty. Now. I am a goofball. I will say that. I'm a I'm a very, very, very funny goofball. But when I am facing for something that is as serious as a championship, I might have to go a little bit serious on you, dude. Not gonna cap. Because professional wrestling, the only thing that we're supposed to be going for here is, of course, 99%. 9% is the fans, but that 1% means a lot, though. That 1% is championships. And the only reason why we are in that ring is A, for the fans, and B, championships. I love the fans. I love them to death. But I have yet to win a championship. And I think this might be one of the shots because i've wrestled at least so many matches in the past year but i've only gotten and this will be my third title shot for anything so when it comes to you evan golden my friend um i will have to take you to an okay an oh chiropractor i'll say that because i know i'll be okay but will you be great? Will you be like the fans and be great? We'll see when it comes to the Bluefield Skating Rink in Bluefield, West Virginia. Day two on the road with Mr. Anthony Rucker after making his big mega pro wrestling debut last night. Oh my God, how we feeling, baby? Sore. <laughs> yeah, Vance Desmond's no joke. Uh, an upset win on your debut. Tell me about the match. Um, well, when you're in the ring with Vance, it's always you got to bring your utmost game. Yeah. Like even more. Like if you if you put 100 percent into every match, you gotta you gotta somehow put 110. No doubt. With Vance, because he is like one of the best in the state in general, and so it was it was a pretty fun experience. Uh, I took my first superplex. Ouch! Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sucked. Uh, crazy uh, surprise win. Just lock, lock in, uh, lock in your surprise roll-ups tight. <laughs> Dude, tight you've win. been getting a lot of uh, out of nowhere pins, man. Good on you. Yeah. Uh, what debut roll-up victory? D device roll-up victory. Tag team championships roll-up victory. I, it, it's my finish now. I, it, <laughs> hey, it's my finish. It works, so it makes sense, bro. Tonight, PWL debut. Congrats. 
Yes, sir. Uh, the management team must think a lot of you because they put you against Ron Mathis, of all people. Uh, you saw what he did last night. You saw what he's done over the years. Uh, what's the plan tonight? The plan is, uh, really, there's no special plan. It's just hit hard, get hit a couple times. Oh, you're going to get hit hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, really, just like always, generically give it your all, try. Um, hit my best move. If he kicks out, hit him with it again. Okay. <laughs> simple, simple. But no, I'm actually really excited for this because he is a big name around here and you're going to get shy iron sharpens iron, is what you always say. And yeah. Hopefully, no matter what the outcome, I come out better in the future and that's all really there is to say about it. Hell yeah, Bubby. I'm excited for it. Me too. I'll tell you what, man. I, uh, it's been a weekend for your boy. Uh, last night, really uh kind of had a change in attitude in my mind i haven't been myself lately rook uh, i wanted to be the howard stern of podcasts and it's got me in a whole lot of trouble in case you haven't noticed i've pissed a lot of folks off Wait, does that make me beetlejuice uh maybe <laughs> maybe if you want to be <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> no you're you good bub, but uh, i've been thinking man i wanted to, i wanted to run this by you uh ever since the beginning of the year this lane cali crap I've been a different dude, and I'm not proud of myself. I think PWL, he's fighting yellow tonight. I'll be there recording. I think after the match, I need to make amends with Lane Cowley. Dude, I'll be honest, I'm not you. We're not the same person, but and in your heart of hearts, if that's how you feel, that's what you want to do, then I'm all for it. I respect you. You're my bud. Right. So whatever you want to do, I'm going to respect your decision. Even if it might not be something I would do. What would you do? I mean, they'd jump your ass. <laughs> yeah. So, like, in my opinion, I'd get my lick back. Yeah. That was the game plan, bro. That was the game plan as soon as the match was over. Like, I, I, there's no ruling saying I can't touch him in PWL. I was going to whip that boy's ass. Yeah. Uh, but, man, like, it's kind of got us both at a standstill. We're, uh-huh. we're caught up with each other. We can't go forward. So, I think uh, today we're moving forward. First one. First episode of Trials of Ascension, I just think, let's move forward, let's get it. Hey, it's a new beginnings, you know? Hell yeah, man. Good luck to you. Good Cheers, luck. new beginnings. Che- oh, hang on. Hang on. Uh, my my <laughs> jug of tea jugs. that I got all the time, baby. Yeah, everybody's going to know I'm a child because I drink sunny day now. That's okay. I'm a child, more near a child. How you doing, Spooky Lou? You having fun tonight? Being joined by FC Mason, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. Monsters and the Midway, JD Gatton, one on one, Sam Handyman. I'm That's excited for this. Boy. Big boy. Two of the young talent, as you are here in RSW. I'm all about it, man. I'm excited. I am too. This is going to be a nice match. I'm still tired for mine. I guarantee it. I appreciate you joining me. Talk about hard work and hustle. Going on, man. After your match. Who you got your money on for the, right now? I always go Handyman. Yeah, but definitely I'm not betting on muscles. I hate muscles. I cannot be biased in this one. I will be biased. I will show you what you can count on the rest of me and a handyman. They, they're more strong, you never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how much wood they pick up? Handyman's handy, right? You know how much lumber they carry, man? I know. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, that, that, uh, that works strong. You know? It is. It's natural strong. What's going on here? He's a hardworking man. Okay. We all agree. Even the referee agrees. He's a hardworking man. We're all agreeing. I want, here. I want to see some big men slapping meat, like Big E said. Let's, let's see what happens here. I'm excited. <laughs> They lock up. It'll go in the ring. Who's going to have the power advantage now? Oh, no. They're going back. Oh, Good muscles oh. back him into the corner now. Come on, Andy, man. Oh, a little extra, extra for muscles getting. You got to love it. Of course. Oh. See, muscles has a, has a strength in his. Has a, he has advantage. He has a strength in this. Okay. I can tell you. I, I guarantee this man I'll probably bench is 328. Well, he's a strong dude. I can barely bench that. I can only bench 90 pounds. Well, hey. <laughs> Start. Gotta start somewhere, by God. Muscles. Ooh, like, the here we go. Let me test the strength here tonight. They don't have a fair ground. So what do we got going on here? Look at Handy Man. Oh, Look at Power Rangers. Oh, that was a toast, dog. You hear that? Woo! Off the 
ropes now. Look at those shoulder tackles. Oh, 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 Big old dragon cross. Big old dragon cross. I said you bought a handy man. I'm not in control of the match. Big dragon cross. Let's go ahead, man. Show them what tools you got in your arsenal. Muscles is in trouble. He's going to give him a chisel. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm going to see. Chisel? We're about to find out. Oh, chiseling away now. Going across the ring now. Uh oh, put in the corner book. Oh, oh. Big elbow. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, uh oh, I right. to the middle. Oh, coming here up to the with that belt. Oh, uh -oh. He catches him. Oh, uh, muscles got him. He don't slam him. Ha! Huh. It should be you. It should be me. Everybody didn't. Oh, God, he was all that slam. I don't want that. Nah, hell with that. Why would he say that? Everybody, bro. Anyway, in the corner. Oh! Front face hey, lock here. Hey, if I go for a little suplex action here, he's huh? show off his power. Why not? Oh! Oh! Okay. Keeps him up. Oh, right. Big kick in the face. And okay, and he goes for the pin. One. Uh, two count right there. And early two at that. Yeah. He's going to have to do a lot more work. Take away, to put down the same hand. Crowd's giving him hell here. We're at the Taylor County Fairgrounds. Monsters of the Midway 3. JD Gadden in control of Sam Hanley. And I'm thinking I'm seeing some raindrops. Must be a fair show. Yep. Hanley being fighting back. Off the ropes. Off the uh -oh. him again. Big bear hug here. Ooh. Now it fits a lower, a lower back area right there. Exactly. And that's got to be wearing muscles down to hold him like yeah. that, too. The crowd's getting behind Handyman, though. And he's fighting out of it. Oh, he's still holding on. Oh, it's oh, it's up a little bit. And he's not out of it. He's hitting the ropes. Oh, my God. Oh, a beautiful spawn buster, that one. Oh, yeah, that Andy Man kicks out. Ooh, what a match here for Taylor Fairgrounds. I love it. Muscle has the advantage like that, but man, Andy Man has some fighting spirit on him. This is what makes RSW RSW, man. Young talent like this, until crap like this. That's what I'm talking about, man. He can pull out that beautiful spine buster, and then he's got to choke him on the ropes. It's unnecessary. And it's all the unappreciated, man. He's a bum. Bum supreme. It does. It, it frustrates me to no end. Muscles is in control. Rumor has it each corner a long way. Corner, corner, and he misses. See him, and he's at home. One, two, oh, oh muscles out. kicks out. Oh, oh out. Beautiful. Okay. Let's go. Show him, man. man. Yeah. Yeah. Give him a screwdriver. Misses. Sam Handyman misses now. Muscles. Oh! Shit. Big clothesline to the back. There's a lot of power behind that clothesline. I, I'm sure you heard it the same as I did. Mm -hmm. That hurts. He could be out. He is out. I see him. I'm looking at I'm looking at oh, the eyes. Over. He's out. Now he's jaw jacking with the ref. Oh. Elbow to the heart. Still jaw jacking with the ref. Another elbow to the heart. Come on, Andy, man. Yeah, he's in control. I'll give him that. Like, when you can jaw jack with the ref like that and still deliver three elbow drops. Simpson's getting set up with him, though. You can see the right. He's already iron repping. I'm sure, you know, he's not the one to mess with. And still, still jaw jacking. That typical JD Gatton for you. Also has the advantage right now. Andy, man, he's looking too good. Yeah. Crowd accuses of being on steroids. Short arm blows, Ron. Threw me off my game with that line, damn. And what an arrogant pin here from JD. It's out at one. Well, at one, the fighting spirit. Sam Handyman, you, you hook Sam Handyman's leg. 
Amen. He'll just stand on his chest. No shit. Short arm clothesline. And he's calling for one more. He's he's getting so cocky in the matches, so arrogant. He's just calling out the boots. He's just calling his shots. Yep. Even with his boot untied, he doesn't care. He's got wrist control here. Going for another. He shouldn't have called it out. Wow. What a move from Handyman. He's fired up. My goodness. Uh-oh. The whole title of the match is turned. Just with one move, one mistake. Sam Handyman is in control of the match. Fired up. Right to his feet. The crowd's behind him. I hear a Handyman chant. Can he finish this off? I love it. This axe handle. Oh! Muscles back to his feet. Another axe handle. To the chest. Muscles back to his feet. Big shot. Oh, Look at him, Andy Man. Andy Man is fired up. He's a house of fire. Those people walking down the hill are even checking it out, man. <laughs> I love it. RSW, baby. Muscles is on the outside now. And then we got this staging area right Oh, here. come on. Across, it's smart. I mean, it is smart. And a oh! muscle. Woo! That could very well be it. One, two, three. With the win. Can't lie. Beautiful spear. Hey, man. Beautiful spear. That's a clean win in my book. Oh. Got to get him his dude. I've seen him do way dirtier than that. That was a pretty clean win from us. What it do, what it do, my man Spooky Lou. My man. I'm telling you, we go back like four flats on that Cadillac, and I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to burn the house down. You see, we've been homies for, for a long, long time, A1 since day one. So, Lane Cali, I know you gotten good, but you, you had to get good, because if you didn't get good, it was time to get gone. And we're going to find out today when we rock and roll, strut and stroll, and shake the room. Let's go. Kick his ass, Yella. Got that right. Appreciate you, Bubby. <laughs> Got one up on me. 
because you brought the JPWO's groupie out here to help you. So hey, you want to try and get one up on me again? Go right ahead.
Tennessee heavyweight wrestling champion Evan Golden. How we doing? Good to finally meet you, Bubby. Yeah. Uh, what's your name again? Dude, it's Spooky Lou. You've been on my podcast twice. Whoa, what's going on here? What, the, what, what? What's going on here? What's your name? I'm Spooky Lou Carbon Barker. You've been on my podcast. No, no, no. no. If I would have known you, I would have already know who you are. So who? Who are you again, Lou? 
Look, Spooky Lou Russell Roney. I don't We've recall. talked I don't twice. Recall. You, know, you know what you need to realize? I'm a very busy man, all right? I'm a champion. I'm a heavyweight champion. I've got a lot to do. I don't, I don't remember exactly who you are, but let me tell you one thing. I'm here in West Virginia around all these cousin kissing, chicken kissing morons, and I really am not in a good mood. So what do you need to know? I was going to ask you about your match with OK later in the show. I'm <laughs> let me tell you something about OK. I hear that his family is here tonight. And let me just tell you this. He's going to be made an example out of in front of his own flesh and blood, his own people, and in front of all these idiots here in West Virginia. And I don't even feel bad about it. I don't even feel bad to embarrass him in front of all of these morons. You're embarrassing me, man. As much as I put you over on the podcast and you don't know me. Yeah, Lou, if that's your real name, I don't think I ever was on your podcast. To be completely honest, I think this is all set up. Are you OK's friend? I am OK's are you, friend. Are you, are you with OK? Are you part of his gang? Are you part maybe, of Maybe, maybe I am now, Evan. No, you know what? I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. And if you want me to be on your podcast, don't forget it's an eight hundred dollar fee. Eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred. A thousand. Just because I'm a champ. It's been a year. What has happened to you, bro? Later. Are you serious? Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is made in the lead in one follow of only six minute time limit. Introducing first, he is the current reigning East Tennessee heavyweight champion. He's a part of West Virginia. He's better than good. He's a
and he's going to win the match again, and still, East Coast Heavyweight Champion, Evan Colby!